So now what am I doing? I've had seven months to sit around the house and watch Frasier. Well, not quite. I've had seven months to reevaluate what I wanted to do with my life and to consider thinking if I did get laid off and this was my next seven months without a job, what would I be doing with my time? What do I need to do with my time to be able to create the life I want in the next couple years? So I took all that consideration. I ended up hiring a coach to help me figure out what the heck I wanted to do. And basically I started doing seven months of thinking and I worked on a couple of things. I tried a couple of things. I failed a lot of things and ended up having an amazing adventure. Basically, I started realizing that I wanted to work with people, but not just anyone. I wanted to work with women who are just like me, but not just like me in the sense of on furlough. I wanted to work with women who wanted to draw and illustrate their own children's book. Women who have a story inside them and want to bring it out just like I did. I was able to create my first children's book of Grandma's Magic Blanket this past year, right before COVID hit actually, ironically. And I've been working on the second book during my furlough and it kind of all just tumbled into this wonderful magical journey of why don't I help other women do exactly what I did, create a children's book. So on furlough, my seven months of furlough, I've been working on creating a program for women out there to create their first children's book with my help so that we can create this journey faster. I don't want a children's book in a year and a half. I want a children's book as soon as possible for you. So I created an awesome program and I've launched it and I'm very excited to bring it to you guys. More information on that later, or you can go check me out on Instagram and join my journey there. Okay. Besides working on my new program for women out there who want to create their first children's book, I've also come to realization that after getting laid off, I need to look for a new job. It's part of life. I cannot pay my bills on this pro program I've made yet because it's not getting to the point where I want it to be yet. So I have to face reality. I have to get a new job. I'm going to keep looking for new jobs in Manhattan, Kansas, because it has better job opportunities. I actually really like working there and I just rather stay in there than in my small town because it's just better opportunities. So I've applied to a couple places and I can't wait to hear back. I'm hoping to get one job in particular, but more news on that later because it hasn't, I haven't heard back yet, but I'm going to keep applying and hope they hire me soon. So yeah, so I've been working on my coaching program for women on creating their first children's book and I'm applying to new jobs in Manhattan to get a new job to replace my old one. That's about it. Kind of all in a nutshell. A lot of things have happened this past few weeks. A lot of thinking I've gone into a lot of things, but I think the new road God is opening up to me is going to be exciting and it's going to be hard but I'm up for a challenge and I want to end 2020 on a good note. And I can't do that if I'm wallowing in self pity and freaking out and going, oh my gosh, I just got laid off. The end of the world is happening. It's not the end of the world to me. It's a new opportunity to try something else that I've been wanting to try for a while now. And it's also a new opportunity to get a new job in a different area. I don't have to go back to a graphic artist job. I can try a new job now. Now that's only just my personal preference because I've been wanting to try something different. So I'm going to give it a shot and see where it goes. So yeah, that's all the updates I got for you people on my own personal life right now. I got laid off after seven months of furlough, been working on a coaching program and working on my second book. And now I have to find a new job. So lots, lots and lots of stuff going on, but I trust in God. I believe he knows what he's doing with my life. And I also know that as long as I keep an open mind, work hard, work smart, and do my best, I think everything will turn out fine this 2020. It's going to be rough. Lots of coffee, lots of fizz, lots of chocolate and spinach in my future. But with God's help and prayer and keeping an open mind, I think we'll do just fine. So. That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any stories you want to share or if you got laid off, I'd love to reach out and say, 
I'm sorry for the bad news of you getting laid off. I really know what it feels like. It sucks. It's awful. But I hope that you can take this opportunity to find a new job that you either want more or that will do better for you in your life. And I hope that new opportunities and better opportunities open up to you as soon as possible so that you can start living life back to normal, secure, and happy. I really do hope that for all of you out there. So hang on, hang in there, hang on there, and just don't give up. Keep pursuing your dreams, write on people, and I will see you in the next video.